Dear fellow vision researchers, I'm gr very grateful for this honor, for which I thank you all of you, and especially the committee who cast the vote. It is an especially sweet award for me because it bears Adriel Rosenfeld's name. I consider Adriel a friend with whom I had a deep human connection beyond the computer vision. Somehow, in our conversations, we had the tacit understanding that despite all appearances, we both thought the science, were, the science we're both involved with was not the only important aspect of life. But of course, he was one of the fathers of machine vision, and machine vision in retrospect has been the main engine of the present revolution in AI. Like Jan Kundering before me, I was a physicist who became fascinated with the mystery of intelligence, which I think is the greatest problem in science. Vision was a great door to approach intelligence in the 70s, and still is, as I will argue later. I started to work with Werner Reichert in Tübingen on the visual system of the fly, with, with, uh, which, with its um, Roughly one million neurons is about half away in an algorithmic scale before between um, unicellular organisms and us. The problems we worked on were motion detection and visual tracking, among others, the theoretical tools to account for experimental data and to guide the next experiments to do were stochastic differential equation and Volterra series, plus biophysics of neurons and synapses. While in Tübingen, I started collaborating with David Marr on levels of understanding and algorithms for stereo vision. Because of David, but after his very premature death, I moved to MIT, where I continue to work on vision, especially in the framework of ill-posed problems and the need to regularize them. I started using machine learning in our vision work at about the same time of Takeo Kanade, first with regularization networks such as support vector machines and then with multi-layer architectures, deep networks in today's slang, multi-layer architectures as models of visual cortex. 20 years ago, a system we developed Daimler bands for pedestrian detection and that we tested in Ulm, Germany, had one error every three frames. We're very happy about it, but today, mobile vision system has one error every several thousand kilometers of driving. Mobileye was founded by Amnon Shasho, a former postdoc of mine, and it was bought recently by Intel. Now, this means roughly one million times better in terms of accuracy over 20 years, which translates into doubling accuracy every year for 20 years. It is this kind of progress rooted initially in vision applications that has made machine learning the engine of the current explosion in AI. But it's now the time to make a quantum step beyond supervised learning to devise a more complete architecture of intelligence than deep learning network architectures. I believe that accounting for visual intelligence would be a first difficult huge step, truly video ergo sum. I also believe that science, meaning neuroscience and cognitive science of the brain or, and of the mind, will have an important role in defining the architecture for visual intelligence. And this, in turn, will be a huge stepping stone towards an architecture for human-like intelligence. I really hope to discuss with you soon, in person, rather than on a video recording, the key role that science, the science and the engineering of vision may again have in our quest to understand and to replicate human intelligence. In the meantime, in the meantime, thanks again and goodbye.